None of the early phones had dials. You simply asked the operator at the exchange to connect you to the number you wanted. Early attempts at using mail operators are said to have been unacceptable because they were too rude. As the telephone system expanded, more and more telephone operators were needed. The rapidly growing number of telephone operators increased the incentive for some sort of automatic switching system. The answer was provided by the versatile electromagnet. The first successful automatic exchange was designed in desperation by an undertaker from Kansas City called Almon B. Strouger in 1889. Hmm, not enough people dying hereabouts, unless there's something funny going on. Let's see, there's my arch rival, McGreeley. Hmm. He seems mighty busy all of a sudden. There's Mrs. McGreeley going to work in telephone exchange. Hey, telephone. So sorry to hear about your recent bereavement, but we do have a special offer this week. Six coffins for the three... That's and it. She and tells them who's dying. Of course. So, I'll make my own telephone exchange and cut out the third party. This is a Strowager selector made in the 1960s, and it's still surprisingly similar. There are two electromagnets. One makes this arm climb up, and the other one makes it hunt across, and finally resets it. Behind, there's a large bank of contacts. The arm sits in front. This connects to the dial. These are the clicks that you hear when, uh, whenever you dial a number. Many Strouger exchanges are still in use. This one's in Norwich. Although Strouger only imagined tiny exchanges with one contact for each subscriber, his selectors were soon being connected together to make larger exchanges like this. The engineers call the system affectionately click and bang 